What I wanted to talk about was before when you're a kid and you hear Errol being like, I'm 16, I know what I'm doing. And you're like, yeah, you do know what you're doing. And then you grow up and you go, no, you don't. Yeah, you go, Trident was right. Yeah, she's 16. But he's a minor. But she, but, okay, so then I'm backing it up a little bit and I've had some time to think and I was wondering... If maybe she does have a point, but her point is only for a guy. No, because remember, she thinks part of your world before she meets Eric. She's been obsessed with the human world before she met this dude. She's been one, yes. Okay, before she meets him, technically. But remember, she starts out by looking at him when he's dancing. No, and she's been obsessed with you. Part of your world... It's actually part of that world. And it takes up before, because it finishes, and she sees the fireworks, and then she goes up, and then she sees him. But she still had his statue. No, that was after the boat went down. I am right. I am you right. Are, you are right. I Oh, I might be oh. changing some minds and hearts today. Okay. I'm so excited. It's true. She's always been obsessed with the human world. Yes. That is correct. Man, okay, you might have gotten me. Because, okay. Part of your world is a reprise that happens after she saves him from a boat. Man, Candace just schooled me. I know. That's like in front of me. everyone. All the wow. me. Yes, I know My Little Mermaid. It was the first movie I saw in the theaters, and I memorized it. Same. Apparently, not enough, Brie. Not enough. And Little Mermaid sheets. Same here. Cool? I had wallpaper and posters. We were a little more yeah. obsessed. I was a little bit more obsessed. Okay. Are you ready for my next point? You ready? Yeah. Okay. Yes, she's 16, and by these standards today, she would be considered a minor. But by... But 1980 is, like, any different? No. By the what people consider with the dresses that she wore is about 1940, and people lived about 40 years, 40, 50 years. People lived about 40 years. She's a mermaid. We don't know how they age. Look at Triton. If she's old enough to get married, like, if she's still considered a child, wouldn't it, like, try to be like, hold up on that wedding? That's my baby. <laughs> true. I, a lot oh, of Disney yeah. films, I was saying, it's true, a lot of Disney films, the princesses are young. They're all teenagers, except Elsa, but she's a queen. Yeah. But it does sound, when you're watching it when you're older, it does sound a little ridiculous. When you're younger, you're like, oh my god, 16 is so old. Yeah, so it makes a little more sense. And also, I guess you can argue with the fact that I knew what I wanted to do when I was younger. You could argue with that because she knew she wanted, but my thing is she just wanted to be part of your world. A human? She wanted to be part of that world. She felt different, not fishy. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in her head, but she's obsessed with the human world for a while. There's a TV series, and yes, I'm bringing up the TV series. I know that, and she was friends with a whale. Yes. She raced on a seahorse. Yes, she did. Yeah. She liked to human things there, too. She made friends with Han Christian Anderson. Deep diving into this. We are. Just like Han Christian Anderson did. That's true. I guess you could argue that she was always obsessed with the human world, so it wasn't just Prince Eric. That was her obsession. He added to it. True. Okay. But how about I argue this? What if she got to the human world and realized it's bad? I don't know because her only options were hiss him and get your legs or become like a little seaweed in Ursula's garden. So no, she did not think it through. Sea urchin. Sea urchin, yeah. It's like this little... Like yeah. Little things. Yeah. Little, yeah. So gross. That freaked me out as a kid. It still freaks me out on the Little Mermaid ride when you go to Ursula's Grotto. She didn't think it through, but I take it as, like, Ursula's a really good salesperson. That song, A Fortunate Soul, is very catchy. It is. And, like, have you ever been, like, really bamboozled into buying something? Because I have, especially when I was younger. My bar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There are some people who are just, like, really good at selling you stuff. And obviously, yeah. Ursula, with her little garden of seaweed people, like, has done this a bunch. Yeah. So... Again, I'm not saying she's smart. She can obviously read because she can sign her name so she could read the fine print. She didn't bother to read the fine print. I know. But who reads the iTunes? Granted, the iTunes 
isn't life and death. Hopefully not. I still haven't read them. What if the next time it tells you, then it's going to steal your voice, sucking from the computer? I guess we wouldn't be able to podcast anymore. That's like something against Ariel that I don't think she's like the smartest person, but who has a She's thing? naive. I don't think it's about like smarts or not. You know, she has tenacity. She got away from a shark. Yeah. That she, that was smart. Skinny. That's strategy. Yeah. So we know she can be logical. Yeah. Now I get passion overrules logic because I understand that because my passion normally overrules any logic at all. So we can chalk it up to she's a creative person. Yeah. Basically. She's a bit of a hoarder. Yeah. But she could also be considered a collector. Yeah. Tomato, tomato kind of thing. Totally. She doesn't know what she has is trash. Like, she doesn't understand. Oh, this is a pencil of the trash. It's a fork. Like, we know it's like this everyday item that, like, we wouldn't randomly put into display unless it's silver. So, what I'm also saying is, Eric's a good guy. You got to give him that, right? Yes. Okay. She could have gotten a really bad guy. Like, been like, oh, he's hot. Like, who hasn't done that? Especially when you're 16. Like, oh, my God, he's hot. Oh, my God, he's an asshole. She got lucky. She didn't. She got very lucky, though. But luck is a key. Work. Maybe not just lucky. Maybe she knew something. Maybe she got some mermaid intuition or girl intuition. Yeah, maybe. But also, the thing is, she is defying her father as the king. And they get we, the rules are meant to be broken. We find out in the prequel that he's super overproductive because his wife died. So maybe those rules should be broken. I'm just saying. So I guess this whole situation is really a tomato tomato. May, probably if her father actually listened to her and maybe like, oh, yeah, show me your human things. That's interesting. Blah, blah, blah. Let me talk to you. And actually sat down and talked with her or float around and talked with her. This whole situation would have happened. But okay, let's say Eric, he's an a-hole. What's stopping her from just like kissing him and going to live her human life? Then you're telling her to force a kiss on someone. She writes, hey, a sea witch cursed me. But she never wrote. Yeah, I know. That really bothered me as an adult. As a child, I didn't even think about it. Sebastian can talk. And he's like, yes, the girl. But is it just a kiss or is it like a meaningful kiss? Maybe but that's why she could write. She said it was a kiss. But we don't know what was on fine print. And if it had to be true love or not. But what if Ariel wanted it to be true love? Maybe she didn't want the kiss unless it meant something. Yeah, but I think we are at the point where you're going to be seaweed forever. You kiss somebody. The whole thing is that he's, oh, this girl rescued me. She could have been like, no, that was me. I just lost my voice. I don't know why she doesn't do these things. But anyway, you mean so, right. Because there it sounded like a gesture on game night. <laughs> like doing dictionary. Yeah, sure. exactly. Or writing it down because she can sign her freaking name. That's true. Maybe she only knows how to sign her name. That's ink. true, because some people back in the olden days when they didn't know how to write or read, they would learn just how to sign their names yes. for things like that. So it could have been that. Then Triton should have been a better father and schooled them. But she was a defiant daughter and didn't want to listen. Okay, even so defiant maybe, children learn how to read. Do they? Right? I don't know. I don't know. We haven't had to deal with one like fully. I don't know. If Triton sat her down, maybe talked to her and said, when you're 18, you can go visit the human world. Maybe that would have stopped her from going to the extreme. Or maybe just explaining his fears a little bit more. I don't remember because I try to repress all the prequels and sequels that are direct to video of Disney. He got rid of music because his wife liked music and it reminded him of her. Yeah. But I don't know if he sat her down and been like, and I know she wanted to keep her really her own daughter from the sea because of the mermaid life. Yep. So that's weird. It was because... Of an evil sea witch was like saying, if she comes to the water, she's gonna like kill her. Also, that sea witch was weird. It's supposed to be like Ursula's sister. We're talking about the sequel, yeah, with her daughter Melanie. So they must have a good relationship. They have one kid together. They figured that out at least. Because I was wondering about that afterwards yeah, when they I became also an adult. Needed an heir because they all would need an heir. Did Cinderella not have one? There was like one sequel and then one. Let's go back in time and redo it, which is actually a really Good for a direct-to-video Disney movie. So I was impressed. Technically, Simba has a kid. Oh, yeah, that's true, too. But he is a lion in the circle of life. So do you get what I'm saying where maybe Ariel... In yeah. the time, 16 was old. Mm -hmm. The time period. And get think about what that marriage meant. 
that marriage was also just politically. I don't think she was thinking politically. But think about Triton didn't even care about politically. He wasn't saying, at least I'm gaining land. They still were separate. Yeah, they were separate, but maybe like they went and overfished in certain areas where their best friends live. I don't know. One would hope. I wonder if she banned seafood. Yeah, that's what I was wondering too, because they're like a sea palace, like area. Like, I'm pretty sure their main export was probably seafood. Sebastian yeah. almost got killed. Yeah, poor Sebastian. Maybe training should have been better. Maybe Ariel should have. She does the best she could for being a 16-year-old girl. When I was 16, I probably would have been seaweed when the first day somehow. At least she didn't turn into seaweed. But you're saying, here's the thing, though. I think what it is, 16 for the time period might have been older and maybe not considered a child. For modern-day audiences from the 80s, 16 is still too young to go off like that. Hopefully that most people believe that. She seems happy in her marriage to Eric in the sequel. It worked out for her. I think Ariel did the best job she could. And that's just what I want to say. So stop hating on her, people. So now the question is, why does Sebastian have an accent? Do they still fish in certain areas? Is Ariel vegan? How do they figure out the baby making? Okay, that's something I'm wondering. Can you imagine that conversation? On that note. What's on your mind? I'll just say stay geeky, stay fishy, or stay human, whatever you want to do. <laughs> Go live your life. But if you're 16, don't run away. Okay. 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 Unless you're in the 1940s. 1840s. 